All right, I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, or GMS, the men that rule well over the nation of Israel, and peace and blessings to the elect, okay? Uh, I had did this video already, but uh, I had misspoke, so I just want to redo it because it ain't that hard to just redo a video okay um this is uh basically a lesson uh showing you the comparison you know of uh as the scriptures say as the days of noah were okay you'll see the similitude of what the scripture is saying through what you know through the scripture you see the uh similitude of uh the time of noah versus the time that we're living in now okay and i'm gonna go straight into the scriptures and um hopefully this will be edifying to the elect okay so this is the book of hebrews chapter 11 and verse 7 it says by faith, Noah, being warned of the Heavenly Father, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir to the righteousness which is by faith. Okay? And I'm going to go through that again and I'm going to get some precepts. Okay? This is Hebrews 11 and 7. It says by faith. Okay. So Noah had faith. You know. And um, that always brings to mind. You know. Great Millstone was. You know. We were, we were laughed at. For, for saying that we were faith based. You know. Israel made a, uh, made a light of that. You know. This is a thing based on faith. It's telling you right here, Noah had faith, all right? By his faith, warned, being warned of the Heavenly Father of things not seen as yet, such as, you know, it never rained, man, okay? Now, what's the comparison with uh, seeing it never rained back then, okay? It never uh so called reigned here in Babylon. Okay? Now back then the rain came and brought the flood, which brought the the uh the cleansing of the earth, man. Okay. This time it hadn't what what being said it hadn't rained. Missiles ain't never dropped on this place, man. Because this time, when it's so-called rain and when the flood come in, it's going to be a rain of missiles and fire. Okay? And it's going to cleanse the earth. As is the rain did, the water did, the fire is going to do it. Why uh water and fire are both cleansing agents, man. In case you didn't know. Fire will purify things, okay, such as metals. Okay? You use fire to get the impurities out. Don't you take a bath? Don't you shower? Water is a cleansing agent, okay? Such as fire. Now, it had never rained back then. Well, this place had never been touched by missiles, you know. So, as it says here in the book of Isaiah 47 and 1, it says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Why virgin daughter, man? Because this place had never been touched, man. Okay? Now that 9-11, that, that was an inside job, man. This own the American so-called American government 
did that to its own uh uh entity so to say that was a, a false flag man that was an inside job man if you don't know that by now you you totally gone man okay so this place had never been touched man all right so that's a a, a, a similarity as the scriptures is gonna go into okay but let me go back it says, uh, Hebrews 11 and 7, By faith Noah being warned of the heavenly father of things not seen as yet, move with fear. Okay? Because, I'm keep reiterating, fear will make you get up and do things, man. Fear of the heavenly father is the beginning of wisdom and knowledge, man. Okay? Because you are in fear of what the heavenly father may do to you. If you don't do what he said, what he's commanded us to do to the best of your ability. All right. One thing is teaching his word. Okay. If you don't teach it, the most high take the spirit away from you. Then you just, you, you up for grabs, man. It's whatever demons get on you first. Okay. You don't want that. So do what you're supposed to do. According to the scriptures, man. Okay. It says, By faith Noah being warned of the heavenly father, Yahweh, of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house. Okay. And we are uh, so-called, uh, we, we, we're preparing, okay, to get on an ark. Lord willing. You know what I'm saying? We're spiritually preparing. In the hopes to be saved up on them chariots man. Okay. To be saved out of the coming destruction. Okay. So it says prepared an ark. To the saving of his house. We're hoping to be saved. Okay. It says. By the which he condemned the world, the same thing as we do. Okay? We go out, we prophesy. Part of that, you know, is is condemning the world, man. Because this world is wicked. And we're gonna get into that too. Just as the days of Noah were. Okay. It says, uh, by the which he condemned the world. Because the Heavenly Father is not pleased with this world. Just like he wasn't pleased with the world back then, man. But we're going to get... I'm, I'm going to get the scripture in just a second to finish this. It says, uh, Which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith, man. Okay? So, yeah. We faith-based. Noah was faith-based. All right. But um, let me get another scripture. So I can bear with me one second, and then we'll get into the account. Okay, this is the book of Saint Matthew, chapter twenty-four and verse thirty-six. It says, but of that day and hour knoweth no man, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. we we'll read that again. It says, St. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. Okay. Showing you that the, the, the heavenly father, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah are two separate entities, man. You know, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Okay, now let's 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 see how the days of Noah were. Okay, well, let's get the Book of Genesis, chapter six, and verse five. Okay. 
Because this is the time, this, this is at the days of Noah. Okay, this is this is the days of Noah, Salakia. Okay, this is the actual days of Noah right here. Genesis 6 and start at verse 5. It says, And God saw, or Yahweh saw, because it's all caps, saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Okay? We'll get a couple of precepts just to show you uh, the heart the hearts of the uh, of the of, of of man okay which your heart is your mind okay uh, well I just get one uh, let me see This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 9. And these are, you know, common scriptures. Okay. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 9. It says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Okay. So. People are programmed to go off, man. Nobody's able to be uh, perfect. Okay. But the hearts of men. Are desperately wicked, man. Okay. That's, that's just the common mind. And your heart is your mind. Okay. Is desperately wicked. Who can know it? The Heavenly Father do. You know. And it says desperately wicked man. Alright. Just showing you. Okay. I'm going to go back to the. Uh, book of Genesis. And this is chapter uh, 6 again. And verse 5. It says, and Yahweh saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart, his mind, was only evil continually. And it repented the Lord Yahweh that he had made on the earth, Salaki, that he had made man on the earth, and it grieved him at his heart. And Yahweh said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast and the creeping thing and the fowls of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of Yahweh. Okay. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was a just man and perfect. Okay, or upright, you know, in his generations. And Noah walked with God. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The earth also was corrupt, okay, before God. And the earth was filled with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all the flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. Okay. It says. And God said unto Noah. The end of all flesh is come before me. For the earth is filled with violence through them. And behold. I will destroy them with the earth. Okay. And that don't mean that the uh, planet. Itself is going to get destroyed. Just like the, the next uh, destruction, that's the, the next flood that's coming. That don't mean the earth, because we still on the earth, ain't we? The earth is we still here, huh? 
Okay, so don't be simple. I'm gonna get a scripture though. Just to back up that point. Another common scripture from the book of Isaiah. Chapter 45. Yeah. And 17. It says, But Israel shall be saved in Yahweh with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Okay? So the world, the earth itself is not going to be destroyed. It's going to be, the earth is going to be cleansed. Okay? It's going to be refreshed. All right? Because right now it's, it's suffering, man. The earth is suffering under the inhabitants thereof, man. Under this wicked rulership from Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, right? the so-called white man. To lock you. Okay. So let me go back to uh Saint Matthew chapter 24 and 36 again. It says, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days of Noah, for as in the days that were before the flood, so before the flood came, okay, before it started raining, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Same thing like what you see today, man. And nobody's taking heed to the, to the warning. Because as I said earlier, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rekakodash, is a just power. He is fair, meaning he is balanced. Okay. So, you think all this wickedness is going to go on and he's just going to let it go on? No man, that would that wouldn't be balanced. That wouldn't be just. You think what's happened to the apple in his eye? What first of all, what the image, what they did to our Lord and Savior, the image, and then the images they put up of him. Okay, then what was done to the nation of Israel? For that, just do you think the Heavenly Father is just gonna let all that slide? He wouldn't be just. Okay. You know, people speak about karma, and we say all the time, you believe in karma, but you don't believe uh, that the destruction is coming, man. If you destroy the Heavenly Father's paradise, he's going to destroy you. What, ain't that balanced? Part of his paradise is his people, okay? Uh, uh, his jewel, his treasure. Okay, his peculiar treasure. All right. Let me go back. It says, uh, St. Matthew 24 and 20, uh, Salakia 24 and 38. It says, For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And they knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be when Yahweh Shah come back, man. You see the whole the similar the 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 the, the, the similar similitude of Noah's time and the time we living in now. And the scriptures is painting a clear picture, man. This is simple. Okay? But this is a key indicator to let you know that we're at the end. It says, And knew not, this is verse 39 in uh, St. Matthew 24, And knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. 
Okay? Let me get a scripture. Another common scripture. Okay? Second Peter chapter 2, I mean chapter 3 and verse of uh, I'm going to start at 8. It says, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us ward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord Okay, talking about now, will come as a thief in the night, man. And as I joke, you know, said in jest, but it's a serious matter. When a thief come, man, he don't give you a, a, a heads up, man. He don't send you a text message talking about he'll be there at 3.30 in the morning. He don't send you an email, okay. He don't, uh... He he don't send you a a a a, a poke on Facebook, you no. Know, I remember that from the days of Facebook. You no, know, I ain't got that now, but just saying, you know, he ain't gonna let you know he coming, man. Okay. The thief gonna come when you when you good and sleep. When you in that comatose state, cutting trees down, you can actually see. You can literally see disease coming up off your head. Okay? Because you people are asleep. And I'm talking about the two-thirds, man, of our people. The rest of you doing exactly what you're supposed to do, man. Okay? Well, the two-thirds, they doing exactly what they're supposed to do, too. You know? But you're still going to be held accountable to the word of the Heavenly Father, man. Because you his children. All right? Everybody is, you know, but two thirds of our people are gonna be cut off, man, because they get they well, they just can't get it. Okay, it's not meant for them to get. Look at all the people that perished in the time of Noah. It wasn't meant for nobody else to get on that ark, man. Just Noah in his house. Okay. So, this is 2 Peter 3 and 10. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. That's it, man. Just like back then, they had no idea. But Noah was out there telling them. Ah, no, anybody would hear that. Just like we out there right now giving fair warning. Just warning. Hey, get right. The Lord coming back. Or all still man is coming. And he ain't coming to play no games. St. Matthew 10 and 34. Think not I'm coming to send peace. I come not to send peace but a sword. What you think that mean, man? Okay. Second Peter chapter 3 and verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away. With a great noise. Okay. That's that virgin daughter getting hit. Okay. She, she won't be called tender and delicate no more. She'll be called obliviated. Okay. However you say it. Destroyed. Utterly destroyed. I, how about that? And the elements... Shall melt with fervent heat from the missiles, man. Thermonuclear missiles. 200 million missiles, man. Are going to it annihilate this place, man. Wipe it. It's going to be never to be inhabited again, man. It's going to be left as a, a memorial. Okay. The earth also... And the works that are therein shall be burned up. Cleansed. Okay. This time by fire. Okay. 
one cleaning agent to the other cleaning agent. It's, it's, it's something how the Most High use fire and water. You say even like this truth is a, a straight path. On one side is, is fire, the other side is water, man. Ain't that something? So, you know, I just want to do that lesson over and uh, hopefully, you know, uh, Lord willing, there was edification for the elect, man. Okay? And um, you can see we at the end. Just like back then. Okay? As the days of Noah were. Same as right now. And it's a wrap, man. Okay? So with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the GMS, who we learn this truth through. Okay? And peace and blessings to the elect. Okay? And until the next time, Shalom.